So this is our intro to Panda's Data Reader. Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and today we're gonna to be jumping into our Pandas Data Reader series. So this is just gonna be an intro. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. Pandas Data Reader is uh, an extension of Pandas and ties into um, stock data. So how, let's just look at it. So we're aliasing Pandas Data Reader as PDR. Now, this is where everything gets pretty awesome. So let's just glance over, run over here to the documentation. Actually, let's just show you PDR, 279 lines. So now you may start recognizing some of these now there's also what Bank of Canada. Uh, we got data. Um, where's the? That's a federal bank. Uh, where's Forex? There's so you can get currency. So what? Why Pandas Data Reader is? Yeah, World Bank. Here we go. Here's everything. The reason why this is so powerful is it can begin to and it touches and it has a lot of power behind it so you can begin to go and slice and pull up just do quotes currency data and we're going to delve into this a fair amount sector performance so you can then begin to see and understand where you may want to focus your attention but yeah here we go here's some inflation numbers so this is our beginnings of really taking what we know and understand and having another tool in our toolbox that because that's what we yeah world bank data um and let's see uh you get the country it because look if you're into trading currency i I looked into it and uh, it was something that I could not wrap my head around. So it, I, I'm, we're not going to touch anything on currency because I don't, I don't get it. And that is probably the most important thing in investing. If you do not understand it, you have, you should not be in it at all. So I, if I haven't said that any or enough, I'm going to say that now and begin saying it more, but like I did say last time, is you want to become very confident and aware and really a student of a particular sector, maybe two, and then you can begin to understand and see where values being created. And then you can also understand the growth. So you can see who's growing, who's shrinking, who's undervalued. So you can actually have two plays going on at one time. You can see that they're branching into a different sector or a different area of business that nobody else is. So that means there's going to be growth. And then you also have the ones that just could be oversold. And that is a value play. So these are the things that are very, very, yeah, Forex. There it is. That's that's currency. And then here is just regular quotes. And we'll begin to delve into all of this. But this is just so like I've said before, this just kind of documents the journey that I was on and the evolution. And so you can stop and get off, get on, and however, however, whatever tools we are discussing, um, yeah, then that this one's cool. We'll 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 probably do that one second or third. But I also don't want to sit out here too much on the stock data um, because uh, the next we're gonna delve into is Django, and I know everybody is. Uh, there's quite a few people out there waiting on this. So this is our intro to Pandas Data Reader. So please, please make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell. We got videos uh, five days a week. And we're now starting a live stream Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays of kind of a recap of the first 
um, all the other videos that we've done uh, where it's at least going to be an intro of the first first hundred with on the playlist of the first episodes uh, one through a hundred. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Please drop any comments, questions, or any video requests down below, and I'll get right to them. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.